I'm Reese Creswell, uh, Senior Site Manager responsible for the clean room and microscopy suites at Cardiff Innovation Campus. So I joined um, Reed UK as a graduate. Um, I completed the two-year graduate programme uh, alongside my, my sort of working life, if you like. Um, I joined this site as an assistant site manager, um, graduate assistant site manager actually. Um, and then I've been lucky enough to be presented with the opportunity to um, take the next steps if you like. So I moved from a graduate to an assistant site manager, um, spent a bit of time uh, understanding and, and, and sort of developing not my knowledge of the processes. Um, then I was fortunate enough to be made a site manager uh, and had res certain responsibilities uh, and, and look at different parts of construction and, and the, the bigger sort of picture if you like. Um, and then I've finished the project now as a senior site manager uh, and have delivered the clean room and microscopy suites. So they were something that I, I didn't understand and, and hadn't had any previous knowledge of. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be given the opportunity to make it my own and, and deliver those um, on behalf of the site team. So my role here initially was to look after the logistics and the site setup. Uh, and as the job progressed then, I got more involved with the, the build side of things. Um, and started looking after the groundworks, uh, certain areas of that. And then as the job continued, was responsible for the concrete frame uh, in terms of production. And then as we moved through the build, looked, started to look after the internal fit outs um, for, the, for right the way through the job. And then as the job progressed further, I was responsible for certain areas, so the clean room suite and microscopy. Clean room is an environment that's completely controlled um, to minimise the amount of dust and particulates that are within the airspace. Um, here it's for microelectronics and the creation of semiconductor wafers. So a silicon wafer is a tiny, tiny microchip um, that is in lots of different display equipment, uh, essentially any machinery that has a brain, so your phones, cameras, um, laptops, military equipment. So it's a specialist area of construction because the environment's got to be right for the end user uh, at once we finish the construction of the space. So we had to implement a lot of controls early on in the build process to make sure that it was going to be correct at the end. Um, so we had to control the PPE, um, we had to pressurise the environment from an early stage to make sure no particulates settled within the area. Um, in terms of the build process we had to make sure that the steps were complete early enough that we didn't have to go back uh, and rework certain areas because that would have created dust in particular. So there, there was a whole uh, host of challenges that we encountered throughout the build, um, but hopefully we, we've got where we need to be and we deliver a, a good project at the end that's usable for the client. So the ISO classifications, uh, as I mentioned, we need to achieve ISO classification five. So ISO 5 permits 100,000 uh, micrograms of particulates within a cubic metre of air. Um, and just to give you an idea for scale, a microgram is a millionth of a gram. So that gives you an idea of, of how clean the space actually is. Um, because of our, our strict protocols and, and certain aspects of the construction that we've got, um, an ISO classification three, so we're actually better than, than what we needed to be. It's been a massively rewarding project for me uh, personally. Um, just seeing the, the faces of the people that are going to go in and use the space and, and understanding what the, the facility that they've come from uh, and the facilities that they're moving into has it, been fantastic over the last couple of weeks. Um, particularly achieving certification, so knowing that we've built the clean room to the specification that's required and as it was designed um, and knowing that it's going to be a fantastic facility for Cardiff University is, is really important.